Right, we're joined with Jim Ashby, our regular visitor to us here at the Monday Night Community Show from the Sheppey Fire Station. And although you're a regular visitor, could you just yep. introduce yourself to our listeners? Yeah, hello again, Dan. Uh, thanks for having me up here again. Uh, Jim Ashby from Red Watch at Sheppey Fire Station um, in the High Street, GNS. I'm sure everybody's uh, driven past at some point. Um, it's actually been just over two years that uh, I've been coming up here now, uh, doing bits and pieces oh, on wait. a on a fairly regular yeah that's right on a fairly regular basis um, surprising really um, the reason I know it's two years is that uh, I first started coming up um, when our sub officer uh, Chris Lawrence retired um, and he actually retired t uh, two years last week so a bit of a landmark there so it's been two years and, and thanks for having me up um, over that period of time um, we've had quite a lot of work um, out of our um, publicity over the radio so thank you for that um, and it's always a pleasure to come up and uh, give some free advice um, over the air, so, so thank you again. How did your open day go? Uh, the open day, yeah, we had a great day on the open day, which was a couple of weeks back. Um, again, we were very lucky with the weather. Uh, I think the amount of people that turned up was uh, thanks to the good weather that we had during the day. Um, we probably had, I'd say, over a thousand people turn up for the event, and the event was actually being held on the uh, in conjunction with the Macmillan Nurses uh, National Coffee Morning. Uh, we always run it in conjunction with their uh, National Coffee Day because um, part of the uh, money that, that is raised during the event goes to them. Uh, we split split the money half and half so uh, overall it was about a thousand pounds that was raised so thank you to everybody that came along and um, donated some cash. Um, it's about a thousand pounds like I say so half of that will go to the Macmillan Nurses and uh, half will go to the fire service um, charity which looks after uh, injured firefighters uh, firefighters that are injured on duty uh, they get to have some rehabilitation in a couple of centres that are up and down the country uh, so that's where that money, money will be going as well um, the day itself like I said was a great success we had a few uh, new visitors to the event um, it was surprising just what you can get in our small yard at the yeah. fire station there um, we uh, we had the 1930s uh, Leyland fire engine that came from the Brigade Museum. Uh, John Meekins uh, from the Brigade Museum brought that down. Uh, that was quite a popular um, item for, for the kiddies to look around. And also we had the uh, prison officers search dogs come down uh, for the day. Uh, they're, they're quite a regular visitor to the station actually. They use us for, um, for some of their training events. Um, and they come to the station just for a change of uh, scenery really. Um, so they repaid the um, the uh, the favour by uh, visiting the uh, station for the day and showing the kids the search dogs and um, putting them through their paces and uh, we've done a few uh, exercises with, with with the dogs that was quite popular. Um, of course, the fire engines were there and they did pick up a couple of shouts during the day. So uh, the station was without a, a fire engine for only about half hour or so, uh, which is a little bit disappointing. You turn up to a fire station and there's no fire engines, but uh, that's just the uh, way of the world. Um, but overall, it was, a, it was a fantastic day. Uh, like I say, the weather played a good part in that. And uh, thanks again to everybody that did come down. Uh, we'll obviously be doing the same again next year. Um, and and thanks to the uh, the Coast Guard that visited. Uh, they always bring their display unit down. Uh, the Neighbourhood wa neighborhood Watch uh, scheme, a couple of re representatives from, from their society came down and were giving out advice and uh, information as well. And we had the police there as well, and um, they were giving out advice to uh, people regarding um, neighbourhood safety and uh, security in the home. And, and of course at the fire station we were push, pushing out uh, fire safety advice. And uh, I'll be touching on a few bits and pieces along those lines later on uh, in the interview. I'm glad to hear the uh, day went well. We it are was, yeah. We are joined with Jim Ashby from the Sheppey Fire Station here at the Monday Night Community Show.